Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the super dry, waterproof running jacket. Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. Now, I've been seeing loads of comments and posts in the 40 Rounds Running community about waterproof running jackets. It's that time of year where we always seem to want to rush out and buy waterproof running jackets. Now, I've been sent this um, super dry jacket by super dry. I'm not getting paid for this uh, uh, video. They don't even know I'm making this video, uh, but I wanted to make it because I keep seeing people posting about waterproof running jackets and I'll be running in this and I wanted to share some of the feedback with you. Now, I'm going to take it off because <laughs> It's really hot in this studio with all the lights on um, and I will melt and I'll, but I'll put it back on in a sec uh, just to go through it with you. But yeah, waterproof running coats is a funny one because you can spend stupid amounts of money on a waterproof running coat or, and I've done a video, check it out, on an affordable running coat off of Amazon. I think that coat was about 25 quid, something like that. And it's definitely worth checking out because it is an affordable running coat that will keep you waterproof. Some people have different views on waterproof coats. They just say, well, skin's waterproof, get out there and run, you don't need it. Other people don't like them because they make them hot and sweaty. Other people really like them. Um, so I'm trying to appeal to everybody with this video. So if you want a cheap waterproof running coat, watch my other video. If you want something that's sort of mid-priced, and that's why I wanted to do this video in particular, then have a look at this super dry jacket. It's $99.99, but let's get into some of the features of the jacket before we get into what it's actually like. Right guys, so yeah, $99.99 on the Super Dry website. Uh, you can get the coat right now. Um, it's got a relaxed classic fit, not too slim, not too tight. Um, you've got a main zip fastening. It's got a pack away hood, um, hook and loop, uh, uh, adjuster cuffs, I'll show you those in a second. Um, you've got an adjuster hemline, reflective elements on it. Uh, it's waterproof 15K slash millimeters. I don't know what that is, but as you can see from the video we did, it is waterproof. Uh, fully taped seams, uh, coated zips, and a breathable fabric. Now, this is a medium coat and it fits true to size. Um, it's not too big, not too small, it just fits perfectly. I run with it, um, run with just a tech top underneath or a compression underneath, depending uh, how cold it's been. I wore it the other day when it was like minus one or something and I just wore a um, Janji uh, base layer and then I went out and put that on top of it and it was just fine. Um, I've worn it obviously in the rain <laughs> and I've worn it not in the rain. I wanted to do uh, a comparison of the two uh, just to see what it was like as a normal running jacket and, and then how it's performed in the rain. So let's get into some of the features that I spoke about. So here's the adjustable um, cuff things, uh, which are, they do a good job. They've got the reflective elements down the side. This is the hood on the back, which you can pack away into here, into here and then it goes uh, onto there, um, but I won't do that now. You can see the taped seams, so it is waterproof. There's the packet for the hood, by the way. Um, you've got pockets on there. I wouldn't recommend running with your phone in there because it does bob about. You've got, where's the adjustability? There's some, oh, it's in the pockets. But basically in the pockets, which I've just done up, and the pockets are waterproof, sealed waterproofness, whatever you call them, but in there, can't find it typically, but anyway, in there is an adjustable cord so you can adjust the back of it. The hood is good, it's not one of those annoying ones. On some of the running jack on the coats, they sort of go come back like that, or they bob about on your head like that. It's got a slight peak on it as well, which is great. This does up nicely around your neck. Sometimes some of these jackets they do up and they get on your nerves. That doesn't. Um, what else? Reflective element on the back, but I don't think there's enough. They probably should have put more on there. And that's about it. So how does it perform? What's it like? Well, you know what? I know I didn't pay for it, but actually I think it's good value, value for $99.99. Um, if you're looking to spend that little bit more, it's actually really good um, in terms of performance. I wore it and it was absolutely teeming it down the other day and I came out dry. And I wasn't too hot uh, in it. Yes, I did get hot um, because of the coat, but you know what? I'd rather that than get it soaking wet. So it performed well, hood stayed on. Um, I said about the fit, haven't I? I said the fit's true to size. I like the I like the overall look of it. I think it looks good, uh, which I think is important as well. I do wish they put more reflective stuff on the back of it. It, it drives me nuts. If you look at, stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there. If you, oh, not the camera over, but 
If you look on the back, Mark's gone everything, but look at the back of the 40 runs ones you can buy. It says, reflective, don't run me over on the back of that jacket, right? Why I don't they, and look, even look, even this Provis one, why on the back of them do they not make them? Look, this is the back of a Provis jacket, which is like about a million quid. You've got a little bit of reflective, but it's just a big panel of black. Why don't they put stuff on the back of them? Let me know in the comments why they don't put stuff on the back of um, running jackets. But anyway, so yeah, I, I just think they should have put some more reflective stuff on it, right? They had the chance. But the overall feel of it, the overall fit, the overall effectiveness of it is really good. So if you're looking for a running jacket, uh, a waterproof running jacket, and you're, you know, you're not into this sort of really hardcore trail jackets by Innovate and all this sort of stuff, check it out. It's not the worst thing you could buy. I think it does a good job. 99.99 is still a lot of money, but you know what? It's actually pretty good value.